stood here. She has the most comprehensive application packet that I have ever seen, and I have been doing this for longer than the five years that we've had the pledge. So please give Nyree Gifford a big round of applause. And Nyree, where is your mom? I, I want to meet your mom. I told you you look familiar. Oh my goodness. Well, we, I didn't see you through the email. But I, you still look familiar. Please stand up. Thank you very much. And at this time, we'd like to Nyree to tell us which school she's graduating from and graduated from and which college she plans to attend. I graduated from Hamlin High and I'm going to East St. Clair State University in the fall. Okay. Aisha Gramble or Gambro? Gambro. Good morning, Aisha. You look just like your picture. See, now you all know why those pictures come in handy. Aisha, stay right here. Aisha comes from Common Ground High School, one of the charter schools here in New Haven, Connecticut, that has an emphasis on environmental studies. I heard y'all grow some good collard greens up there too. Is that right? Uh -huh. I know it's right. I know it's right because I heard from someone that got some. Okay, so that is. Aisha Gambrell from New Haven, Connecticut, attending Common Ground High School. Your counselor, Ms. Miriam Sheffield, she did so much work. She did so much work. She sent me, I don't know how many envelopes, full of applications. Do, do you have any classmates here? Okay, all right. So, Aisha, was chosen. We love her. Congratulations. And tell us where you're going. I'm going to the College of New Rochelle in New York in about two weeks. All right. Thank you. Congratulations. Aisha, where's your mom? I spoke to her on the phone. Uh-uh. Stand up. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. Rise the duck. Riza's mom is receiving for her. This was the wonderful dance that we saw. This is Mrs. Mia Edmonds. Now, Mrs. Mia Edmonds, I know it's all about the children, but when they're ill and they're in absentia, as they say at church, then we are going to switch over to her mom. Now, her mom is an educator and an administrator. She's a math coach. She's so humble. That's an administrator in the New Haven public school system. Tell us about Risa. Risa. I always get it mixed up. Risa. Risa Dove. Tell us where she's graduating, where she graduated from, and where she's attending. Risa graduated from Wilbur Cross and she's going to UConn. Give Mrs. Mia Edmonds Duff another round of applause for her dance selection. Thank you very much. Frank Cummins Jr. Frank Cummins Jr. This must be his dad. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Dad. Please tell us about your son. Uh, Frank is now at the University of Richmond and uh, he graduated from King and Low Haven. Now, Mr. Cummings, before you start running away, okay. when I got that packet, I had never heard of that school in my entire life. I'm only about 15. <laughs> but tell me, where is it? Tell our audience and remind me where that school is located and what type of school is it? Uh, the school that he graduated. That he graduated. It's in Stanford, Connecticut, and it's a, uh, a private school. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Ebony Bush. 
Ebony Bush is here. Ebony Bush is the daughter of our committee member, B. Bush, who is very shy, very generous, and B. Bush is a recent retiree of AT&T. And Ebony, tell us, you know, where you came from and where you're headed. I graduated from career grade, and I'm going to Mercy College in New York, in Oxford.
Comes on a southern floor. Can Mommy Moore? Kimoni Moore's mom is here, Kim Moore. Kimoni is down near in Washington, D.C. Mom took her last weekend. Kimoni is at Howard. There are about four, possibly five winners this year from Howard University, and two of them, and this is just happenstance in the family, are roommates. Two of them are, are going to be roommates, freshmen. Now, come on, Miss Kim. Miss Kim is also an administrator in the New Haven public school system. If you would just say a few words. I'm guidance counselor at Nathan Hale um, Elementary School. Um, and Kimoni graduated from Career High School. I'd just like to thank you very much for this. Thank you. Wayne Moore. Wayne is Kimoni's fraternal twin. Give him a hand. And he's going to tell us all about where he's headed. Wayne Moore graduated from Kip High and born at Johnson Wells University. Where do all the different voices from? <laughs> Kenny down there, you know, y'all might want to consider a career on radio. <laughs> some preaching, mm -hmm. <laughs> do a few voiceovers, some sermons, whatever you like. Douglas Mosby. <laughs> Douglas Mosby is from north of here. I can't remember exactly which school, but he sends his regards. I spoke to him yesterday morning. Mallory Perry. Good morning, Mallory. Um, I graduated from Mercy High School, and I'm going to UConn School of Nursing and Stores. Um, Mercy is an all-girls school. Yes, yeah, private school. It's an all-girls school? Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. Mallory, I went to an all-girls high school, too, but I made sure not to graduate from there. <laughs> Anybody that didn't know me know that sound about right. Christine Randall. Christine Randall is going to I believe Christine Randall is our loan, or is it Taylor? Taylor, which school are you attending? Rutgers. Rutgers. Okay. Then Christina Randall, if memory serves me, is our loan going to be Yale. But I know she knows how to cross the street. <laughs> and she is not here today. She was going to her pre-orientation uh, something activities today. So that's Christine Randall and her mom graduated from James Hillhouse High School here in New Haven. I saw that name on the application. I'm like, oh my goodness. So give Christine a hand in Accenture. Darrell Wilson. Good morning. Look at him. Good morning, Darrell. Please tell us where you're from and then you can get your honors. Um, I'm from Norwich, Connecticut. I graduated from Norwich Street Academy. Um, and I'm actually headed a switch, so I'm at American International College. I'll be going there in two weeks. Uh, in Springfield, Massachusetts. Oh, you play football too? Ooh, okay, okay. You just gotta let us know. Now y'all get those are our runners up, and I have one more to add to that. And please excuse me, you have to charge it to my head and not to my heart. Taylor Strode from New Haven, Connecticut, is in our runners up category. 
If you would come up, Taylor, please. Guess who was sitting out there in the parking lot? 
Jody Ann Gale of Bloomingfield, Connecticut, and her mom, Paulette Wright, and her mom been working the whole time, and so did Jody Ann Gale. Mom, where are you? Paulette Wright, good morning and thank you. She sure did, and, and I ain't gonna let her get away because her school officials, they were so diligent about making sure that her application was complete. I put in a call to your assistant principal, Pat Jones. My sister gave me her name. And I called Miss Pat Jones. And I don't know what she did, but it was all good. We have so many applicants from up in the northern part of the state. As a result of that phone call, I got emails from people in all other kind of uh, school districts. So the network is, is growing. Come on, Jody Dale. So I'm Jody, I'm from Bloomfield High. Well, I graduated from Bloomfield High. I'm going to Manchester Community College. And Jody, I have a little something for you because Jody, that's right. Jody Ann, I have a little something for you because you were the first person to arrive. Miss Lisa, I believe I have something behind the podium that's blue. If you would make that presentation to Jody Ann Gale. Thank you. Because it pays to be on time. And there's a little something for you in that front zipper section, but don't open it up right now. Okay. Kervana Jones. Kervana Jones from New England, Connecticut. Wonderful, wonderful. Trying to remember. You have a love for math. My committee member was so impressed with that math thing. Was the, do you have some kind of interest in Okay. So tell us all about you. I graduated from Curry High School in the fall of going to University of Hartford where I'm going to major in mathematics. Thank you for coming. Whitney Jordan. Whitney Jordan. And, and before I go to Whitney, just one moment, come stay, still stay right here. Kirvana, is your mom here? Yes. Kirvana's mom is a local older woman in New Haven, Connecticut, Katrina Jones. Please give her a hand. I don't know why she's making that, like, this kind of motion. Because that's not something we do in our family. Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> now listen, let, that brings us up to Whitney Jordan. I don't want to say any more other than this, and this is for people who, who know the Lord and you know the Bible. Whitney Jordan's award should be called the Serendipity Award serendipity because it seems like it happened by happenstance because what's that thing in the Bible was done for the you know what <laughs> what's done for the bad will turn out for the What's meant, well, I mean, that's strong, Jesus. Yes. What's meant for evil? Okay, I'm, I'm going to, just for the purposes of, of keeping this light, I'm going to substitute evil for bad. And so what is done for the bad turned for the good because I saw this young lady at the nail salon. <laughs> God is good all the time. <coughs> all the time. I met 
this young lady in September. Where I meet you at? The bus stop. <laughs> the bus stop. <laughs> the bus stop. <laughs> Didn't know her from a can of paint. But I recognize that uniform and I have flashback. <laughs> I had a flashback when I saw these three lovely little sisters on the corner of Dixville and Lake Place with their pretty little maroon and gray check plaid uniform. And I said, oh, good morning. What school do you go to? Are you a senior? Because see, I'm always looking out. I'm always looking out. That was in September. And I went on to see Jody several times after. You know, she always smiled. Whichever of those girls were up there, I found my way to work. With me, where'd I call you? Ooh, I call you Jody? Okay, I'm sorry. So anytime I would see her, they, of course, they were always very nice, and they didn't even happen. Now, when we were going to St. Mary's about 10, 10 years ago, we used to. Woo, we went rolling skirts up. Soon as we cleared the front porch, and we'd go in our book bags, and we would pull out our platforms, and because there's only you had to do something with that plaid stuff. You know, and, and your parents, you had to go. <laughs> unless you, <laughs> unless you did something like I did. Because well. I wanted to get to Hill House. <laughs> I wanted to get to Hill House. So, share this like that old time, when I was time that you give a good bucket and you kick it over. <laughs> here, is, here is Whitney Jordan. With our Serendipity Award, please tell us about you. Um, I'm Whitney. <laughs> I graduated from Sacred Academy with Carrie. And I'm going to university in the UA tomorrow. Oh, congratulations. Okay, now we have Thomas Williams Jr. Thomas Williams Jr. is from New Haven and I don't remember what he looks like, but since no one's getting up, I would say he's not here and we will contact him. Now we were just informed that Amber Moy's mom is here now. So Miss Sharon, if you would please come up and accept on Amber's behalf and tell us where Amber is because I think she's a member of the terrific trio. Hi, um, I'm Amber's mom, and my name is Sharon. She, my name is Sharon Jones. Um, as of today, Amber is at Howard University one week today. So that's where she's at. She's not yet able to be here today. She called to remind me to come here. I forgot. <laughs> Thank you. Her son's name is Willie Newborn. 
And he is a student, he was a student at High Leadership Academy, which is one of the New Haven Public School System high schools. And turn around. Willie's, Willie had the best teacher recommendation. All of you had wonderful teacher recommendations, but they were so syrupy and sweet and beautiful, we loved them. But Willie's teacher recommendation told the truth about Willie. And that is what touched my heart that day I opened that envelope on my job. Because Willie's teacher recommendation and his essay told us that Willie was a turnaround kid. You understand that? Willie reinvented himself. He went from freshman, don't care nothing about high school, to senior year, where is he at? He's attending Nichols College in Delhi, Mass. He will be um, studying MIS, which is Management Information Systems. And he's on the football team. His coach wouldn't allow him to come today because of a scrimmage, so I'm standing for him. And thank you. Thank you. Billy, I have never met him. I was talking to his mom the other day. She said, do you know him? I said, no. I just know him from the application. That's how I know most of you, from your application. But it was such an impressive teacher's recommendation and essay. And so we thank you and we make this presentation to you. Kim Haynes, the mother of Willie Newborn. Future animation artist, 
and his works are on exhibit in the room, and he is going to tell us all about him. Good afternoon. I am. <laughs> I am Tevin L. Wiggins, and I am graduating from Hill Regional Career High Magnet School, and I will be attending Champlain College in Burlington, Vermont, this coming Friday. Kevin was our 2010 designee, Connecticut designee, to the National Community Network Lewis Latimer Scholarship, okay? His application was ultra impressive and on time. <laughs> and many other things. He was selected by our committee to, to represent Connecticut nationally. He came in as a runner-up this year for the first time due to the AT&T Matching Funds Program and collaboration with the chapter in Ohio. We have a new national scholarship called the Arthur Woods Scholarship. She was a congressperson she was a politician <laughs> in Ohio, A-R-T-H-A, Woods, if you'd like to look her up. Tevin, from Connecticut, is our ex distinguished first annual Arthur Woods Scholarship Awards recipient, in addition to the Larry J. Mays Scholar. So when we pick them, we pick them right, family. We pick them. Congratulations very, very much to you, Tevin, as you travel north to a very cold climate. I can't give you any references to cousins up there, but I know that they are there. And I hope that you will seek them out and that you will keep, call your mom, because <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. and, and we're going to be praying for you in Burlington, Burlington Vermont. Okay, well, what, can, what kind of temperature are you? Oh, do you ski? Yes. You do? And you snowboard? Oh, you're going to fit right in. <laughs> You're going to fit right in. We are going to be praying for you in Vermont. We're going to be praying for all of our awardees in Connecticut, Washington, D.C., New Jersey, Maryland, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, New York, George, St. John's University, Virginia. So you're going to be all over in our prayers and our well wishes and all of our hopes, they go with you. And we hope that you will be on time to class, that you will go to class, that you will study hard and be safe. And I saw somebody back there just do this, so I, and I remember what Ms. Barr said. So we're going to tie this up. Do you have any other words, Tevin? <laughs> oh gosh, I wouldn't forgive myself if I <clears throat> let this close without obviously giving the biggest thanks to <clears throat> It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. My grandmother, Dorothy Gill. Is she here? Yes. Right. 
to help me get out of the way here and everything. Mom. Thank you. 